Firestone's first bottled wild ale. First bottled wild ale. A lot of the time when people uh, try and review beer, they kind of have five different components they talk about. Uh, there's first appearance, you know, how it looks. This one's nice and uh, cloudy, uh, light in color. Um, cloudy is common of wild dales. It's, yeah, probably unfiltered. Um, and you get the aromas. I'm getting a lot of funk off of this. Not a whole lot of sour, a little bit on the back end, but you know, at first it was just kind of a you know, wave of funk coming at you. I'm not that good at reviewing beer when it comes down to it. I kind of just internalize it. And I'm good at identifying beers afterwards and just telling myself this is good or not good. I, te I tend to like most beer, you know, almost every beer I really like. And it just goes up from there, from like to love to holy crap to I'm gonna die. And The so, nose is kind of, the nose is um, I guess a I, lot like champagne. You know, they might have used champagne uh, yeast for the you know bottle, yeah, for conditioning. bottle conditioning. Not sure, but it's typical with wild ales. Um, it's like kind of like if you could imagine an apricot that sat on the tree for a little too long. But you know, you could have like a slightly like fermented like fig or apricot, and it kind of brings this um, flavor in the forefront that you don't usually have. That's um, what sours often bring to the table. Well, and the thing is, this is definitely not uh, a typical American sour bomb. It doesn't hit you over the head with acidity. The thing that I love about Firestone is they love blending. And Firestone, uh, Feral One, I think it's four different sour beers that they combine together for this. Ooh, man, this is a really yeah. good beer.